Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Learn with Sahira. This is Sahira and in today's video I am going to share with you the most important long questions from your subject Advanced Accounting for degree 3rd semester students. If you follow the questions that I am giving you in this video, both theory and problem questions, you can easily score full marks in your exam. You need not to go and search for any other questions, you need not to prepare anything else. This video itself is more than enough. Because the questions I'm giving you here are exam focused, repeated and most expected ones. So if you prepare these properly, you will be completely ready for your advanced accounting exam. And uh, before starting our video, let me say you all, if you are new to our YouTube channel, Learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. You have to subscribe our channel because on this channel, you will be getting all the videos related to your exam preparation. Without any delay, subscribe our channel and share it as much as you can. Let us get started. We are going to see unit wise important questions. First, we will be seeing what are all the important questions are there in unit number one, then unit two, three, four, five, like that. Okay, so first, let us get started with unit number one. In unit number one, you may expect a theory and problematic. Okay, definitely one question will be theory and the other question will be problematic. What are the theory important questions? Let us see. From theory, first important question is define partnership and explain its various features. What is partnership and its characteristics or elements and features are the same. So whatever they ask, you have to write the same thing. Two is what is partnership deed? Explain the contents of partnership deed. What is meant by partnership deed? Why it is useful? You have to write everything, whatever you know about it. Question number three is explain the legal provisions in the absence of partnership deed. If there is no partnership deed, what are the different legal provisions are there? You have to mention. Then question number four is explain the fixed and fluctuating capital methods with suitable examples. Explain the methods for preparation of capital accounts in partnership. If they ask this question or if they ask this question, it is same. You have to write the same answer. They might ask you like this or they might also ask you like this. Okay, both the questions are same both the answers will also be same. So these are the four important theory questions from unit number one. If you get prepared with these four questions, definitely you will be attempting one question from your unit number one. Ninth question will be there. No, in ninth question, A or B will be theory question. Definitely you will be getting 12 marks from unit number one if you attempt this theory. Okay. In problematic, you may expect problem on admission of partner or retirement of partner. Definitely one problem will be there on admission or retirement. So make sure you are perfect with admission as well as retirement. So unit number one is completed. Now let us go with the unit number two. But before we move on to the unit number two questions, I just want to remind you that I have prepared complete notes for advanced accounting. And these notes include both theory and problem parts with solutions. All the answers for the important questions I'm giving you in this video are already included in my notes. Both concept explanations and step-by-step -step problem solutions. So if you want to prepare smartly and complete the subject quickly, my notes will really help you understand every topic clearly and score full marks easily. And not just for advanced accounting, I have prepared notes for, for all third semester subjects, including core subjects, non-core languages, all written in simple and clear language. So make sure you check out the notes and start preparing for to, from today itself. And uh, I want to say you all that these notes will be really very helpful for you. All subject important question and answer notes are available which are prepared by me. So if you want the notes, you can text me on my Instagram. My Instagram ID is learn with Sahira. I will be sharing the link in this video description also. Or you can just simply search for learn with Sahira on your Instagram. You will be getting my ID. DM me there, message me there, want notes. I will reply you. But note payment is must. 
little payment is there but definitely you will be seeing big results uh, in your exams okay so little payment is there only the students who need the notes and who are ready to pay should text me not other students okay all right let us move on to unit number 2 from unit number 2 theory important question is distinguish between realization account and revaluation account question number 2 is explain the insolvency of a partner and its accounting treatment in a partnership firm see i should also say you this that this advanced accounting is a problematic subject so much priority or much preference you have to go and give to the problems only theory is the second uh, option okay second choice okay this is optional theory but first focus on problems if you are perfect with the problems no one can stop you from getting o grade in your advanced account accounting okay first you give much preference to the problems only if you are facing any difficulty or if you are peered with the problematic then go with the theory but we should expect the problems only theory you might get you might not get okay but problems definitely you will be seeing in the paper so from unit number 2 in the problems you may expect a dissolution of partnership business and insolvency of a partner definitely one question will be given from both of these topics dissolution of partnership business and insolvency of a partner definitely 12 marks will be in your hands if you are ready and if you have prepared for both of these questions okay now let us go with the unit number 3 in unit number 3 theory important question number 1 is what is a company its characteristics and types of companies what is mean by company what are its features and how many different types of companies are there you have to mention question number 2 is what is a share explain the different types of share capital 3 is write the differences between shares and debentures 4 is define debentures and write what are the different types of debentures 5 is what is underwriting explain types of underwriting write about scbi guidelines for underwriting so these are the 5 theory important questions from unit number 3 unit number 3 is little difficult so i suggest to you to go with the theory part only but for problems also if if you can you try to practice the problems okay in problematic you may expect issues of debentures or problems on underwriting or bonus shares okay so these three problems will be included in your unit number three but as i said you problems are little dif difficult in this unit so try to go with the theory from unit number 4 theory first important question is what is companies act 2013 explain the structure of companies act 2013 second important question is explain about company final accounts as per companies act 2013 third important question is what are the general instructions while preparing the balance sheet fourth is explain the format of balance sheet fifth is explain the concepts of profits prior to incorporation very important question this last question and see uh, don't think that i am giving you five five important theory questions because one question is linked to the other question like if you are writing general instructions while preparing the balance sheet definitely the format of balance sheet you need to know right so these two questions belong to one question only okay but to, for clear understanding and to separate the questions i have written like this okay so in in problematic the problems will be on final accounts and profits prior to incorporation okay so then the last unit unit number five in unit number five theory important questions are like this what is goodwill explain its necessity for valuation of goodwill Two is explain about methods of goodwill valuation. Three is what is meant by share. Explain the various methods of valuation of shares. Then the last important theory question is explain about market value method. So these are the different theory important questions from unit number five. And in problematic, you will be seeing problems on goodwill 
and valuation of shares don't worry i will be uploading each and every unit explanation videos for advanced accounting as well as other subjects so no need to get uh, scared or uh, be afraid of this subject or any other subject i am here to help you out but i am not making you fear but this subject is little difficult so please give much priority or uh, give much time to this subject because it is little difficult if you want to score good or if you want to get passed in this subject you need more and more practice and don't worry i will be uploading a separate video for short important questions next video will be that so you watch this video then you watch short important questions uh, you will be getting all important questions of this advanced accounting and i already said you that i have prepared all question answers important notes which are prepared by me in easy and simple way if you want those notes you can text me on my instagram but there is a little payment so if you really need those notes then text me see you all in the next video if you are having any doubts let me know in the comment section bye bye